<clears throat> Excuse my wet hair. It's still drying. It looks like a rat's nest. And I've got a fan in my face. I found this little box today. I thought it might be interesting to look at it. It says, Clarity. 24 simple affirmations to encourage clear thought every day. It says little affirmations. My auntie gave me this when I was in a bad way. <laughs> I clearly never looked at them. The little box of affirmations contains daily guidance to keep you inspired. Oh, isn't that cute? I might find some good ones in here. Nature is pleased with simplicity. Oh, that's not going to fucking help me. All beings exist and nothing else. That's why they're called beings. Oh. This isn't self-concept. This is just quotes from famous people. Water's water and that's why it's beautiful. Oh. Oh, dear. These aren't going to help me. <laughs> nice present, though. Hi, guys. I literally just finished doing mine. Hooray! What, doing your self-concept affirmations? Oh, well done, darling. Good for you. Any questions, guys? Do you have any manifestation or negative thinking or changing your subconscious thoughts? Questions? I was thinking I might do some affirmation videos um, tomorrow on anxiety, on if you've suffered from abuse, those kind of things. Would you guys be interested in that kind of stuff? I know I've done a lot of self-concept ones already and um, SP ones, specific person ones, getting your ex back, etc. But I was just wondering if anyone might be interested in like anxiety ones, feeling safe and secure if you've suffered from abuse or trust issues. I might do some of those. Hi, guys. Hi, Loz. Hi, Christina. Can you explain the difference between, between acting as if and living in the end? Oh, God, Christina. How much time you got? Acting as if is doing shit in the 3D out in the world, pretending like an actor. I'm at a sink, washing dishes and miming. Okay? Shit, I had to do at drama school. Pretend I'm in a windstorm. Okay, that's acting as if. I'm married in a wedding dress. I'm laying out my table for my husband that isn't even here yet. That's acting as if. Acting like a fucking nut. Doing shit with your hands. Out in the three that people could see. So if someone came to your house and they saw your cupboard was half empty and they said to you, why is your wardrobe half empty? And you're like, it's for my future husband or for my husband. That, And they're like, you're not married, you're single. That's acting as if. Living in the end is doing it all in your imagination. It's in your mind. You're not doing anything out here that anyone can see. It's a secret up here in your mind. Realization scene to do in your mind is something in the future past the point of what you want. So if you want to be married, you imagine after the wedding, like honeymoon or 30-year wedding anniversary. If you want to be pregnant, you imagine the child's first birthday, second birthday, them graduating from college. You don't imagine being pregnant. You live in the end result of it. If you want to just live with your SP, you imagine buying a house together and celebrating. Chink glasses, okay, in your new house or whatever. Okay, that's living in the end, as if it's happened already and it's past the point of already happening in your mind. You don't do shit in the 3D acting like a fucking lunatic. That's the difference. Make sense? Just started today. So all day I've been kicking the negative thoughts with positive. Yes, my darling, well done. Good on you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Christina. Welcome, guys. Hi, everyone. Hi, the regulars. Hi, everybody. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Rhiannon. Hi, Liam. Lots of new names, too. Ruthie. How are you, beautiful? Hi. I've done everything under the sun. It's so confusing, lol. Kessel, Bell, what the fuck have you been doing? You've been listening to some law of attraction idiot who's been telling you to feel positive and believe it and drink some fucking water after you've spoken to it and all that bullshit. That's why you're confused, because you've been speaking, listen to some idiots. Guys, it's just your subconscious dominant thoughts creating your reality. That's all it is. All you have to do is change your dominant subconscious thinking. Ta-da! You're a master manifester. I don't know what you're confused about. Stop watching those morons. Darling, if you are confused, go to my TikTok and watch How to Manifest Properly. It's a black heading. It's 12 or 13 videos. It's probably down the bottom somewhere, third or fourth row up, and it clarifies in great detail it's just your thinking how you change your thinking and gives examples of what i've done in my life to manifest with just thinking no positivity no positive energy no being happy no believing no talking to water no crystals okay any questions guys hi hi paul hoy hi there hi uh yolanda i didn't expect the overdrive of negative thoughts once i started all day it was exhausting so what, you got negative thoughts when you started affirming? Yeah, it's because your subconscious is fighting back. That motherfucker wants to keep the equilibrium of what it's always told you. It will fight you. 
Keep at it, darling. Keep at it. Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, guys, your subconscious mind is constantly trying to go back to zero where it knows it lives. It's your constant dwelling place. Where you most often dwell is your dwelling place. Where you are in your brain, if you feel depressed all the time, you go back there. It's going back to that set point. You don't want to go back to that set point. That's what the new affirmations, the positive affirmations are about. You're taking your subconscious away from the set point it's always been at and it will fight you. And it will kick in with a whole lot of negative thoughts. You've just got to fight the motherfucker. Act like it's a bully at school and tell it to fuck off. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Hi, guys. Hi, do you have any questions for me? There's only 18 people here. Is there a self-concept video on your page? There are a few, Paul. Just look down the titles. Should I start putting those big titles on that everyone does? Because maybe it's hard to find what each video is. Because I don't know where to place it. And sometimes the writing of my account name is over the top of the writing. I think it's hard to find. I think I might start doing those big headings. Maybe that's a better idea. Should I do that? Um, there are some, Paul. But also join my Facebook group if you haven't, darling, and watch all the lives back. There's lots that say self-concept at, at the title. And you'll know which ones are about self-concept. But I talk about self-concept in every single one. And they go for hours. There's 50 lives in there, guys. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, there's 50 lives. There's probably about 70 hours of content in there, okay? Like these. All these lives are saved in there, okay? that Yes, that would be a great idea. What would be a great idea? Me doing the affirmations or doing the titles? Either. <laughs> yes, do big titles. Yes, I will, guys, actually, because it's hard to find the videos. It'll cover up my face, but you get the gist. Loving your Facebook group. Oh, wonderful, Carla. Great. Yeah, it's very encouraging. Lovely group in there, guys. There's men and women. There's over 500 TikTokers in there. And there's lots of people actually inviting their friends from Facebook. The amount of times I'm seeing invited by such and such, invited by such and such. There's so many people who actually aren't on TikTok coming in the group. It's crazy. And quite a few from other manifestation pages. I think someone must have mentioned me on Kim Belize's page the other day because lots of people came from there. I know I used to answer a lot of questions in that group. Great, I'm going to watch the lives too. Yes, darling, do. Lots of self-concept stuff in there, okay? The live one called number 25. So, guys, if you're looking for certain numbers or look, if you're looking for certain things, type in in the search box in the group self-concept and see what comes up, okay? There's one called number 25, and that's self-concept to get your ex back. I go in great detail about self-concept in that one. Number 41, it's about changing the old story. I go into great detail in that one, okay? You can just type in the old story self-concept and they'll come up guys if you can't find the videos go to the photos box or the media titles box at the top of facebook sometimes it's called media sometimes it's called photos sometimes it's called albums and find the videos in there okay or search tiktok or live and you'll find it when i'm doing my self-concept do i start from childhood or to figure out what your self-concept affirmations need to be darling you can start from childhood but you don't have to keep saying everything about your childhood you just say i have always felt safe and secure if you're abused I have always been in control of me. If your parents were strict or you felt out of control in your life, you might have had anorexia or something where you felt out of control, okay? So you affirm against the shit in your childhood that's fucking you up. If you felt abandoned, I've always been chosen and wanted. I've always been made a priority. Dependent on what in your childhood messed you up psychologically. That's what you're doing about your childhood, you understand? Hi, Loz. Any tips when you start to lose motivation to affirm? Rita, how much do you fucking want it? Give up then is my answer. Guys, how much do you want this? Do you want your ex back or not? If you don't, just don't bother. That's my answer, Rita. You paid money for a call. Why the fuck did you bother? How bad do you want it? Write that everywhere. How bad do I want this? How bad do I want this? How bad do you want it? That's my answer to that. One of my favourite people on TikTok. Love the energy. Oh, thanks, Mama Chen. What should you be saying if you want someone to contact you? They're constantly calling and texting me. Like they're blowing up my phone. Go and do my affirmation, darling, called They're Blowing Up My Phone. It's blue. It's got about 20,000 views. Okay, affirmation video. You can listen to it over and over again. What should you say if you've been a tad clingy in the past? Well, Douglas, just say, um, I'm in total control of me and what happens to me. I've always been loved and wanted. Women fawn all over me, if it's women. Okay. I've always been loved and adored. I feel safe and secure. I don't need anything. I don't need to do anything to get love. I'm enough just as I am. Okay? Men have always loved, women have always loved and adored me. Women have always easily committed to me. Something about your relationships have always been great. And feel secure in that and affirm that. 
I want my ex back, but I can't help think negatively about them because of stuff they've done. Well, Helen, you haven't been here very long, have you? Or have you? Yes, you have. Darling, you know that the stuff they've done is based on your psychological fucked up thinking that happened during the relationship, so don't blame them. Start shouting at yourself in the mirror. Fuck, you're an idiot, Helen, for fucking it up with your stupid subconscious thinking about not being chosen and not being good enough and not being loved. Get your shit together and stop blaming them for your problems. Guys, it's got nothing to do with them. Everything they say and everything they do is based on your subconscious thinking. Don't get angry at them, Helen. Hello. Hi, guys. Don't ask about time. <laughs> Someone asking about time. <laughs> I'm affirming that I'm the most beautiful woman and these men are staring at me once I go out. Yep, that's what happens, guys. You get random strangers staring at you, jumping out the cars. It's very strange. Um... How long does it take to manifest? Yes, I'm ignoring that. Guys, it takes as long as it takes you to convince yourself you are the man or woman you want to be. Have you convinced yourself of that yet, Kesselbell? That's my answer. When you say your S is self-concept affirmations and not really feeling it, will it still work? I don't know who the fuck you've been watching, only one KJ. But when have I ever said you have to feel it? You've been watching some LOA moron. You don't have to feel it, guys. You don't have to believe it because feelings and beliefs come from a thought. So all you have to do is think it. Think it and think it and think it and think it. If some idiot's telling you to feel it or believe it, please press not interested because they're a fucking lunatic who doesn't know what they're talking about because thoughts generate feelings and beliefs. Ugh. Guys, you don't have to feel it, please, for the love of God. You just don't. It's just ridiculous. You're right, yes, Rita. Get your fucking shit together, love. What'd you pay me for? <laughs> uh, hang on. Just want to say thank you for introducing me to Self Concept. I feel amazing and excited to see my specific person this weekend. Yes, Lisa! Darling, just assume he loves you. Why wouldn't he? Because you're the fucking queen. You're treated like one. Okay, darling. Well done. I want him back and I will not give up. Yes, Lisa Simone. Guys, you don't have to give up. You can have them back. All you have to do is change your thinking. Stop thinking you have to give up. Stop thinking you get sick of your affirmations. You get sick of your affirmations. There's something wrong. You're doing it wrong. If you're getting sick of it, you're doing it wrong. All it is is thinking. You must be doing it like this, Rita. I'm heavily married, heavily married, heavily married, heavily married, heavily married. Or you're looking at the 3D. Where is it? Where is he? Why hasn't he turned up yet? And you're not living the end in your mind at the same time. Guys, you can't just affirm. You've got to live in the end in your mind. Don't just affirm all day. Live in the end. But do both, guys. Money affirmations. I am a money magnet. Money comes to me out of the blue. I am flush with cash. I have the magic wallet jam crown full of cash. It replenishes itself daily. People are just throwing money at me. Stuff like that. I walk in a shop, I can buy everything I want. And if it's about your business or something, you say, my business is booming. What should you be saying if you want someone to contact you? They're constantly blowing up my phone. They're constantly calling and texting me. If they don't talk to me and see me, they don't feel right. But also assume you're already in a relationship with them, darling. You don't just want the calls. I'm surprised you aren't super famous. Oh, thanks, Helen. Thanks very much. How can I figure out what's creating the third party? I want him, but he always wants someone else. You're creating the third party? What do you mean, Leah? Have you ever watched a single one of my videos? I know you're on the last live asking me questions the other night. You created, darling, with the shitty thinking about you. I'm not good enough. He wants other girls. Why is he looking at other girls? I mustn't be good enough for him. I'm not pretty enough. He's been looking at me. Is he looking at girls on Snap? Why is he looking at other girls? I'm not chosen. My dad abandoned me when I was five. Must mean all men leave me. I can't trust anyone. Why is he looking at other girls? I must not be pretty. My thighs are fat. What's going through your mind, darling? It's got nothing to do with him. Nothing to do with them. You create third parties with your fear of other women or other men coming along. And then, ta-da, they do. Stop thinking that shit. Work out what you're thinking that's causing a third party situation. You are the only cause, darling. It's not them. Hi, Loz. Any tips when you start? Oh, I saw that one. Okay, guys, I'm scrolling down. Oh, God. Going to the bottom. I got a call from my SP. Not exactly what I anticipated, but I continue persisting. Yes, my darling. Who was that? Alexia, don't worry if it's not what you're anticipating. Sometimes you get a call or a text and it's dry and it's formal. It's like, hello, just checking up on you. And you're like, the fuck are you talking to? Or they're like, hi, how are you? Yeah, okay, well, bye. And you want, babe, I miss you so much. I love you. Can't stop thinking about you. 
Guys, slowly, slowly catchy monkey. You know what that means? You know that expression? You don't just try and catch the monkey straight away. It runs away. Let it happen. Okay. Why, Ellie, lol? <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, feeling safe and secure affirmations, please. Yes, I'll do those ones, guys. I'll do those ones on loop, on a tape. Recently using subconscious meditation. Should it help? I don't know what subconscious meditation you're doing, darling. I don't know which one it is. It could be a load of shit or it could be great. Is it a channel on YouTube? Are there lots of great comments about it? What I'm trying to do is get you guys to change your subconscious thinking. Do my affirmation tapes, guys. Okay? What is the meditation? What's it saying to you? I can't tell you it's any good if it's a load of gobbledygook or some law of attraction bullshit. Is it changing your subconscious thinking? Is it getting at the core of your actual subconscious beliefs or is it just general shit? I don't know, darling. I don't know what it is. But yes, listen to them while you're asleep if they're good ones. Absolutely. But if you're awake, you have to repeat after them. You have to think it. You can't just listen to it. It doesn't do shit. Okay. Um, we're hanging out together and I started thinking negative. My fears started taking over. Oh, Misty, stop doing that, darling. I know it's hard. But listen, when my SP and I got back together, I had to literally stand in the kitchen while he was standing next to me chopping up carrots, doing affirmations in my head because my negative thoughts would get away from me got to do it all day long guys even when they're there if your negative thoughts are taking over missy don't fuck it up by letting your negative thoughts pop in affirm 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 even when they're there lie in bed with them before they wake up do your affirmations that's what i used to do do it honestly love how real you are always remind myself to gather my thoughts now oh wonderful mama chen yay thank you what if two women manifest the same man back it cannot work for both no, it can't, darling, because you're in your reality. Watch my video, two people manifesting one person. Can't work. They're in their reality, you're in yours. We're all in parallel realities. I'm in mine, you're in yours. That's why no one has any free will in my reality. They're only reflecting my thinking. In your reality, they're reflecting your thinking. You can want him, she can want him, she can have him in her reality, you can have him in your reality. But you always win in your reality, okay? What to do after signing divorce papers, how to act... Darling, in your mind, act like you're still together. Act like you never got divorced. And don't do anything in the 3D differently other than be your pleasant, lovely self with them. Okay? Don't question them. Don't ask where, if you're going to get back together. Don't push them. Okay? But in your mind, you're already together and start affirming. He loves me and only me. He wants me and only me. He can never let me go. I'm the only person who gets him. I'm the only one he needs. Okay? And live in your, the end in your mind that you never, ever, ever broke up, darling. It never happened. Revise it. Revise the incident of the divorce papers. Okay? And next minute, he'll be ripping them up. Mm -hmm. And assess your shitty thinking through your relationship that caused the breakup in the first place, darling, and affirm against that shit. I'm not chosen. I'm not wanted. He looks at other women. I'm fat now. I've had kids. Whatever the fuck was going on in your brain, affirm against that shit because that's what causes breakups. Okay? Take responsibility for it, okay? I thought that shitty stuff. I'm now going to think different stuff and work on my self-concept to get him back. Publisher said today, I'm going to put you as a priority. Yes, Pat! Hooray! Have you been saying I'm a priority? Yes, I know you have because I gave you that affirmation. <laughs> well done, my darling. Oh, that's wonderful news. Wonderful. That book's going to be published any minute now. Can't wait. Uh, obsessed with this energy. Oh my god. Oh, good. H H M O S S <laughs> zero. I, don't know. I can't say half of your usernames. I had a friend repeat one of my self concepts to me very randomly. I was shook. It's working. <gasps> Wonderful, my darling. Guys, they do repeat it back. It's very freaky when it happens. It happened the week I launched this account. A friend of mine wrote on my Instagram when I was launching on Instagram. I don't anymore. can't bother. And he wrote, Loz, your videos are so mesmerizing. And that's been one of my longest affirmations I've been doing for the longest time. And I hadn't done it for ages was everyone is mesmerized by me. And I was like, what a strange word for him to have said. It's funny how when they do it, it's crazy. It works every fucking time. Hi, Loz. What are your thoughts on Dr. Joe Dispenza? Look, he talks about feelings too much for my liking, talks about being in love energy too much for my liking, talks about energy too much for my liking. But he is right about a lot of stuff, but he just talks about energy a bit too fucking much. And I think he talks about vibration too. And I'd like to sit him down and say, Joe, I don't have to be happy or feel love to generate a manifestation. I don't have to, 
I manifest all day long, don't you? And he'll be like, oh yeah, Loz, I do. Don't know what I'm fucking talking about. Okay. <laughs> uh, does it make a difference if you read them off a PG? Off a PG? What does that mean? Does it make a difference if you read them off a page? Oh, you mean your affirmations if you're reading them? I've always been loved and wanted. I am always chosen. No, guys, if you've got them written down, you say them or you think them. That's fine, but you've got to think them. You can't just read them. You've got to be thinking them as you're reading them. Yes, I've always been loved and wanted. Like it's truth. Either say it out loud or think it. Yes, guys, a lot of people have so many, they're not able to think them off by the top of their head. That's fine. It's also not fine to have too many either. Good morning from Montana. How's it going? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. I forgot about that. Oh, happy St. Pat's Day to all the Irish. I spoke to a girl in Ireland today. I completely forgot it was St. Pat's Day. She was sitting on a car with a cup of tea because I'd just woken her up for our call. <laughs> forgot to say, happy St. Pat's. I want SP, but he's married and scared that people would say I'm a home wrecker. Well, Yolanda, first of all, assess why you would even want to be with someone who's married. What happened in childhood that you would want to be unchosen like that and not the priority? I would assess that. Secondly, stop having fears about that. And thirdly, if it's the golden rule and you harm no one, you go to the end, you harm no one, just imagine you are together in your mind and how it comes about, it won't harm anyone. If you try and mess with the middle, he's going to ask for a divorce, she's going to start hating him, la, 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 think people get hurt. But you can just go to the end, imagine the two of you are together, no, no one gets hurt because it just works itself out naturally to get to your end of you are together, okay? And also work on your self-concept that anyone would think you're a home wrecker. Got a bit teary this afternoon because there's literally no movement from SP but caught myself before I can dwell. Darling, guys, let it out. If you feel sad, let's stop looking at the 3D. Live up here in your mind, darling. You're not living up here enough that you're with him. Having a conversations with him. Oh, baby, don't you miss me? You miss me when I'm away. And he goes, oh, baby, I miss you so much. Can't stop thinking about you. I'm here. I'm always here. I've never left you. Having the conversations, guys, if living in the end isn't working for you yet. Really having the conversations. Talk to them. They're not separate from you, okay? I'm getting a movement from my SP and doing myself concept and SP affirmation. Thanks so much, Loz. Oh, wonderful, Christina. Oh, so many people are getting so much success. I'm chuffed. I've had two people this week say that their SP has talked about marriage to them and rings that had calls with me. I'm thrilled. Ah, makes me so happy. I'm reading my affirmations off my phone. Is that okay? Yes, Ellie, so long as you're thinking it. I've always been loved and wanted. I'm the queen and I'm treated like a queen. Not as long as you're not just going. I want you to think it as if it's truth. These things, you've got to decree a thing. I have always been loved and wanted. I am the motherfucking prize. You're saying it like that in your head or out loud. You're decreeing a thing. It's truth, the thing you're saying. Say it as if it's true. I'm manifesting two people, an old guy and a new one. So conflicting and torn. We'll just manifest both, darling, and then when they both show up, make a decision. I did that. Accidentally manifested my old ex back. Because I was manifesting him before the next one turned up. I wasn't expecting. And they both turned up. They're both there at the same time. It was very weird when they met each other. It was fucking bizarre. <laughs> my ex was very uncomfortable. And then that night my ex was like, gee, he was uncomfortable, wasn't he? I was like, mm -hmm. never seen him like that before. <laughs> it was fucking funny. Um... Thanks for motivation, Laws. I posted in the group last night and I'm getting so much support. Oh, wonderful, darling. Yeah, guys, the Facebook group is extremely supportive. If you would like to join a lovely, supportive group of men and women who are all give, giving each other encouragement, helping each other out, you can ask questions in there, you can answer questions, you can watch all these lives back, go to Manifest Space, Live Space, With Space, Laws. Put the spaces in between on the Facebook search bar, okay, or click the link in my bio and join. You have to answer a few questions to join, so I know you're not a spammer, but you can watch all these lives back. There's over 50 in there. You can DM me for coaching, for private one-to-one -one coaching in my messenger there. I'm the admin in the group, or you can DM me here at Manifest Live with Laws. Guys, if you don't follow me, do follow me because I go live twice daily. And if you want coaching, just DM me. How much are the calls? 110 US, guys. They're for half an hour, but I do analyze your backstory first for ages before the call to identify all the negative subconscious thinking, what might be going wrong. I ask you about your childhood, ask more and more questions during the call to ascertain what the problem is, to give you specific affirmations, specific action plan to get your shit specific just to you and your issues. I don't just give blanket shit to everyone, okay? 
It goes for half an hour, but it always goes for more than half an hour. You just tell me your time zone, guys, through the DMs, and we'll tally up the call. Um, um, how are you? I'm great, thanks, darling. Um, I'm doing great today. How to manifest getting into graduate school. Just imagine you already graduated from that school, darling. I'm a graduate of blah, or I'm a such and such student, okay? When I wanted to get in my college, I kept saying, I am an Ida student. I am are the most important words in, words in the world. They are your consciousness. They're what you are. If you say you are, you become that. You become what you think about. If you say, I am an Oxford student, I am a student of blah school, you'll become it. Just keep saying it and saying it and saying it and saying it and imagine yourself on that campus. Imagine yourself saying to people you go to the school. Imagine how happy you are that you go to the school, telling people all about it, telephone conversations about how great it is. Imagine you're already there, darling. Uh, oh, that was Irish. That was Gaelic. And I can't understand it. <laughs> Did that say Happy St. Pat's Day? I think so. Padrag, isn't that? That's Patrick. Yes. I think that's Patrick. <laughs> I can't even say it properly. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I want SP, but he's married. Would it be wrong to want him or Yolanda? Only you can answer that, darling. I'm not God. I can't pass judgment. I mean, I have got God in me. I am a God of my reality, but it's up to you, darling. And you can judge that. Better use of my time is working on your self-concept and assessing over your SP. Yes, guys. When you focus on them, they focus on them. When you focus on you, they focus on you. They have to. They have no choice. It's just how it works. That's why people say, when I forgot all about them, they came back. Well, it's because I weren't focusing obsessively on them anymore and giving them all desperate, needy thoughts and energy. That's why. Works every time because people stop being desperate and needy and then the person comes back, it's because they're suddenly focused on themselves and their lives not because they forgot all about them it's because they were focusing on themselves see how that works i literally no longer have any fears thank you so much for everything oh my god alan Carl, you're joking that's amazing oh well done you brilliant guys when you know you're god of your reality when you know you create this shit the fears do go away it's crazy if you suffer from depression or anxiety really get hold of that idea that you're running the shit that your thoughts create your reality and you'll start getting more fearless having less anxiety and less depression because you realize you can control your life it's very important Okay, any more questions, guys? I've got to go to bed because I've got a 6 a.m. client call in the morning and I've got to be up at 5. I see 111 every day. What does it mean? Nothing, darling. This means shit. Just means your reticular activating system is noticing 111. Give it good meaning. If you think it means something, only you give it the meaning. So if you decide it means your manifestation is coming, give it that meaning, my darling. Give it that meaning. If someone is being emotionally available, it is really a reflection of you doing it to yourself. You mean unavailable? Yes, so it's you thinking they're not emotionally available. So if someone's emotionally unavailable to you, you think, oh, they don't want me, I'm not enough for them, they're looking at other girls, he's not emotionally available. It's what you think of him that then reflects that, okay? SP's been so sweet recently. Old thoughts creep in sometimes, though. I pick it up on it now, though. Wonderful, darling. When they're being sweet, just take it, take it, take it, and be like, they love me so much. And kill those negative thoughts. Use it as fodder for how much they love you guys. Yes, if they're unavailable, darling, it's because you think they are emotionally. Um, so what would you affirm? He wants me and only me. He loves being in a relationship with me. He constantly tells me how he feels. He's so affectionate with me. Mm -hmm. He's committed to me and only me. All right? Should I drop SP affirmations and only do for me? No, don't drop the SP affirmations, guys, because you're still going to think about them and you want action from them. Don't drop the SP affirmations altogether. Just don't focus completely on them. Does listening to affirmations and subliminals when we sleep help? Yes, it can, darling, but be very careful what subliminals you listen to. I don't know what they're saying. I was working when he got with a third party. I'm crushed. Well, Regina, it was because of your shitty thinking. What was your shitty thinking that assumed he would find someone else? I hope he's not looking at other girls. I hope when he goes to work... He doesn't meet other girls when I'm working. He doesn't meet another girl. It was you, darling. Your fear creates a third party. It's got nothing to do with them. Be crushed all you like, but just be angry at yourself that you created it first. Um, guys, I've got to go because I've got to get up at 6. I've got to get up at 5 a.m. And I'm exhausted. I've been up since 6. Any more questions? Any more questions? All right, guys, if you haven't joined me before, do follow me. I go live twice daily. You won't know when I'm live until you join me. Thanks, guys, for the gifts and the flowers. 
Um, and please do join the Facebook group, Manifest Live with Loz. It's a lovely supportive group in there. All these lives are saved. You can watch watch them back. I'll be adding more tomorrow. And if you want DM one, uh, DM me for one-to-one -one private coaching, I will get your shit for you. I will analyze your backstory and we will give you an action plan to get your manifestation. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me and do join me tomorrow. Bye.